Uh, so I'm Nick Carvey and I'm a PhD student at the University of Manchester and Chester Zoo uh, and I'm researching the conservation physiology of the eastern black rhino. So basically what we're doing is we're taking uh, physiological data and using it to answer conservation questions with, for this subspecies. So the eastern black rhino is a critically endangered subspecies. So we're collecting dung and measuring the hormone levels in it. Uh, and why we're doing this is because we're trying to find out why they breed uh, better and faster in some places than in others. Um, so it could be due to diet, water availability, um, it could be pressures and stresses caused by tourism that means they don't breed as well in some places. So we're trying to find out what um, causes them to have slower breeding rates in some places so that we can advise managers, uh, NGOs and other conservationists on the optimal habitat for these rhinos so that we can get them breeding faster, have their population growing um, and just generally secure their future. When we extract the hormones from the dung, we store them on a special cartridge. Uh, the method of doing this was developed here at Chester Zoo and this process doesn't rely on electricity at all. So it means that we can go into quite remote areas and extract these hormones and store them so in the future we can come back and do the lab work and analyse them. Uh, we wouldn't be able to carry out our work in the areas that we do without this technique. Um, so these methods that were developed by the zoo are vital for us to work in the areas that we do. So we've moved the lab here, we've set up a lab uh, to look at hormones um, in black rhino, in elephants um, and any other species that we might want to look at that are of interest to um, the strategic plans um, that Kenya has put forward. So it makes my analysis of my uh, samples much more efficient because it's much closer to where we take the samples so we can do the lab work a lot faster. Um, and it's also very difficult to get samples out of Kenya due to um, kind of legal constraints. Um, so us having the lab in Kenya makes our research a lot easier. But going forward in the future, that lab will also be available to conservationists and um, rhino managers within the country so they can use the kind of techniques that we're uh, using as a routine monitoring tool which means they can diagnose pregnancy in their animals and also use it to identify individuals for translocation and analyse the responses to changes in their management practices. So the partnership between the zoo and the university is uh, vital for, for my work and for, for kind of conservation research in general because it brings together an, an academic institution whose expertise is in the research side of things and a more practical based conservation institution um, and partnerships like these means that we can not only um, have better research that's more applicable to real-world situations, but we can also disseminate the results much more effectively to conservation managers um, and tell them what the research is, is telling us about their species that they're trying to conserve in the wild.